So Paul, we just realized that there is gravity in space, but there are times where we can experience zero gravity, the experience of it. But what do we need to do to sustain or keep that feeling of zero gravity? And for this, we're going to have to think about motion in space, which in many ways is different from motion on Earth, exactly because while there is air there, it's not very much. Now, if on Earth you try and go somewhere, you know, mm. shopping or drive to Sydney, not that we can because it's locked down at the moment. Um, COVID, of course. Yeah. Hopefully this will be a distant memory by the time you watch this. Hopefully in the future you don't know, what's COVID, kids? Uh, but if you start driving yep. and you turn your engine off, you're going to stop. That's right. Because there's friction or drag. If you're trying to push a box of furniture across the floor, as soon as you stop pushing, it stops moving. Yep. So on Earth, the normal thing is motion requires an explanation. If something's moving, there must be a push or an engine or a rocket or something. Yep. And as soon as you stop pushing, things stop. Yep. But that's actually because there's friction and drag. It's because there's air and you're rubbing against the ground on Earth. So yeah, I guess if I push you on a frozen lake, you'd actually slide a lot further than if I were to push you on the ground. And in space, so let's say we're having a fight outside the space station, I push you away, you will keep going forever. Well, there's not much stuff to slow me down, even though there's that little bit of air, it's a lot less than here on Earth. Yes, so this is a big difference in space. Generally speaking, if you push something, it will keep on going forever. And if there's no gravity around in yep. deep space far from a sun or a planet, it'll keep going in a straight line at the same speed forever. It'll never stop it. It won't require any more power. You don't have to keep the engine going to keep going. You can just fire the engine for a second and then it will go and then just turn the engine off and you'll keep on going and keep on going and keep on going for So once you're in years. space, you can just keep cruising essentially unless there's something else that is there to stop you. And this is a big mental flip from the Earth. Yeah. In Earth, we think that's a long way, it's going to be difficult, that's a short way, it's going to be easy. Yep. But in space, distances are relevant. Yeah. You can go as far as you like with no energy. You just need energy to speed yourself up but you also need energy to slow yourself down at the other end. That's right, because there actually is nothing to slow you down as well. So the rocket's going to Mars, it uses some of its fuel to accelerate up to high speed, then it just drifts to Mars, maybe has an occasional quick fire to adjust its steering, but not to speed it up. Yep. And then has to fire its engines again to slow itself down at the other end. To stop. Then practice they often dive into Mars' atmosphere to get some drag there to help slow them down, so-called aerobraking. Yep. So, it's a different way of thinking. If people are talking about space travel, they don't tend to think of distances. Yes. They tend to think of what we call delta V, the change in velocity. And that really is the change of your speed from going from zero to something. So not how hard is it to get to Venus? They have to say what change in velocity do you need to do. That's right. What delta V? Delta is used in um, science as means change over and V is shorthand for velocity. So how much change in velocity do I need to get to that point, regardless of really where it is? Yes. So. It's a very really different way of thinking about things. It's the change in velocity, not the distance that matters. And but how about if we've got a force applying sideways? So okay. let's say I have an object, yep. and we're applying a push to it, but now the push is sideways to the motion. Now we can demonstrate this. So let's say I take yep. this ping pong ball and I yep. throw it. Yep. I'm giving it a sideways velocity. Yep. Now gravity's going to stop pulling it down. It's giving it a downward velocity. People often think that as I throw it, it will move something like this. That's right. It's actually not quite true in space because its sideways velocity will remain the same all the time. It'll, if I'm throwing it at one meter per second sideways, it'll still, what happens is more and more downward speed will accumulate, mm -hmm. but the sideways velocity will still keep going. Because there's nothing to essentially slow that down. So as it goes down to here, it's now got a big downward velocity, but it's still got the same sideways velocity it ever had before. So it hasn't actually lost velocity, it's changed the direction it's of the velocity. It's gained the sideways velocity. Yes. So let's actually try that now. So yep. if I throw it... Um, yep. Oh, okay. Let me try that again one more time. Okay, so if we throw... Well, let's actually drop it. Let's, let's okay, hit, right. hit the ground. Okay. So as it flies downwards... Yep. It's still moving sideways at the bottom yep. at just the same speed it was at the top. All it's done is accumulate a new sideways speed. That's right. And then it's the ground that stops it. And this is actually how you can get to fall for a long time in space. So let's imagine we had our 400-kilometer high tower in yep. Dubai somewhere. Yep. And we know that if you just step off the side, you fall yeah. to your doom. That's right. But now let's say that instead of falling off the side, you have a catapult on top and it fires you out. Okay. So now you have a small sideways speed. Yep. And now instead of landing right at the bottom, it lands... You landed a bit further away. Feet. And if I threw it a bit further, now it would hit the ground off the camera, maybe a couple of meters that way. That's right. And if I flung it really fast... Way over my head. By the, it'll still start falling. But maybe by the time it's fallen those 400 kilometers to Earth, if it's got 6,000 kilometers to the side, 
the Earth won't be there anymore. So essentially, what you've done is thrown it further so it misses the Earth. Yes, yeah, so it's falling. So let's imagine this is the Earth. It's falling, but it's got enough sideways speed that by the time it's fallen to Earth, it's missed the Earth. It's gone around the side. Okay, but it's still falling. It's still moving. And so now it's trying to fall this way, but it's still got sideways speed. So it'll keep on falling. And because there's nothing to slow down that sideways speed, it just keeps going. It keeps falling towards the Earth. By the time it gets there, it's missed the Earth because it's got enough sideways speed to miss it. So, so wait, are you saying so when these astronauts are up there, they're essentially just continuously missing hitting the Earth? Yes, I mean, if you've ever read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, yeah. but they always talk about how you fly and that. They say the way you fly is you throw, the art of flying is to throw yourself at the Earth and to miss. Yep. And that's kind of what the astronauts are doing. They are falling, yep. but they've got enough sideways speed that by the time they've fallen 400 kilometers, the Earth isn't there anymore. They've missed it. And so they just keep falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling and falling. That's right, so they can fall forever. Um, and so that, in some sense, is what free fall is. Free fall is the art of falling forever, but having enough sideways speed that you never quite hit the Earth. So yeah, it'd be like if you jumped off that building and all of a sudden there was a giant tunnel that went all the way through the Earth out the other side, you would just fall all the way through. Yeah, so you could, in principle, draw a vacuum tunnel and yeah. fall back, and you'd keep oscillating backwards and forwards through the middle of the Earth. Not practical, so, but if you have enough sideways speed, you could do it. Okay.